One of the important procedures in stack graphics for dealing with time series data is the seasonal decomposition. What this procedure does is, is divide a time series into four component parts. Trend, which is a long-term movement in the time series, typically up or down. Cycle, which is an irregular variation around the trend, such as a business cycle. Sometimes higher than expected, sometimes lower than expected. Seasonality, which is a regular variation around the trend line, such as up and down every 12 months. And randomness, which is a completely unpredictable component. There are two primary uses for this procedure. One, visualizing the different components. By breaking a time series into its separate components, it's easier to visualize and understand special events that might have occurred. Secondly, it can be used to seasonally adjust the time series to remove the seasonal effects so you can better see the other components. To illustrate the seasonal decomposition procedure, I've loaded a data file called Golden Gate into the Stack Graphics data sheet. What this data show are monthly traffic volumes across the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. To do a seasonal decomposition, I'll go to the Describe menu to Time Series Seasonal Decomposition. I need to tell it where the data are. They're in a column called Traffic. I need to tell it the time indices. They're in a column called Month. And I also need, it, need to tell it the length of seasonality, in this case 12, because every 12 months I expect it to go up and down. If I press OK, I'll see some options. I could adjust the data based upon some mathematical transformation, maybe take a log, for example, if I thought that was necessary. I could also adjust it for inflation if it was financial data. In this case, I'll just take the defaults. It will then offer me several tables and graphs. Again, taking the defaults, it'll open up an analysis window. To understand the decomposition procedure, it's, it's sufficient to look at the graphs. Let's double click in the upper right to begin with. Here you see a plot of the data over time from January 1968 through December of 1982. The first thing it's done is it smoothed these values. In this case, taking a moving average of 12 months to see the underlying trend cycle component. What you see here is a general trend upward except for two points in the time series when gasoline shortages made a major change to that trend. Now, if we were to take every month, for example, every January, and look at the difference between January and the smooth, usually by taking a ratio to moving average, as it's called, we can then come up with seasonal indices for each month. The seasonal indices show me on a normalized scale where 100 is an average month, what the traffic is on average every month of the year. If you look at this, you'll see that in January, the index is around 91. Traffic in January averages 91% of an average month. On the other hand, in August, the index is 111, meaning an 11% increase over average in August. If we now take each data value, divide by the trend line, and then adjust for the seasonal index, we come up with something called the irregular component. If I click on the Tables and Graphs button on the Analysis toolbar, I can ask to display the irregular component. 
Here it is rescaled so that all the values average 100. The important thing about this plot is you can see the unusual events. For example, look at this point down around February of 1974. There's an index here of about 86.5. What that means is that traffic in that one month, which corresponds to a gasoline embargo in the United States, caused traffic across the Golden Gate Bridge to drop by only almost 14% compared to what had, would have been expected at that time of year. If we now take this irregular component, this random component, and add back the estimated trend, what we end up with is what's called the seasonally adjusted data. And here it is. You see that the seasonality is gone, but all the other important information in the data is retained.